Hi there, I'm Vicky Parfano from Aussie Stampers and Vicky Parfano Studio. I have been making some neurographical art and thoroughly enjoying this beautiful meditative art process. I've learned a thing or two from doing all these artworks and thought I might share some of these tips with you. There are some do's and don'ts when making neurographical art. It's based on a neurographical line and here are some clear examples of lines that are not neurographic lines. They're more like doodles. The top one has loops. It does not travel from one edge of the paper to the other. The bottom one, the same thing. It does not connect from one edge to the other and it has a repetitive pattern. They were drawn very quickly and they're more, as I said, like doodles. Here is an actual neurographic line. I drew this with my non-dominant hand. I settled with my both feet on the floor, breathed deeply and began to slowly in a meditative fashion draw gently from side to side and I worked slowly. You can see it travels from one edge of the paper to the other. I added more lines and they intersected each other but each line goes from one edge to another. It doesn't stop halfway along the page. I added some thinner lines with a fine tip permanent marker to create some interest as well. These are what neurographic lines look like. When you're making your project, use a really good substrate. A substrate is the material that you work on. I love these field watercolour journals by Handbook. It's made of very good quality, acid-free paper. I also like to use good art materials. I have a Winsor & Newton professional watercolour field box that I used for this process. But if you don't have expensive materials, you can still make this art using printer paper, some Sharpies and some colour pencils. These are the supplies that I used. You can see I have a circles template there that I added to my work after I had finished drawing the lines. I used this to draw five circles of different sizes onto my work. You can see the bottom circle is incomplete because it goes off the page. That is perfectly okay because your eye will read that as a circle anyway. I bound the edges of my page with some painter's tape. A tip that I have for you with this is to, to take off some of the tack of the painter's tape on your clothes first and do not remove it until your work is absolutely dry. The colour scheme I used for this was alizarin crimson, Windsor yellow and burnt sienna. You can see those colours sitting there on my palette. I kept to a limited colour palette and a soothing colour palette as well. But you could do these in bright colours, whatever colours speak to you at the time are perfect. Here is the finished piece. Remember when you finish your work, it's important that you sign it somewhere on the bottom. I've just put my initials and the year so that I will remember when this was created. I love how the watercolours dried to have lovely soft effects and you can clearly see those five circles sitting on top of the patterns. I rounded all the hard edges, excuse me, hard ed edges of the pattern to create that really lovely, harmonious look. Make sure you put your art somewhere where you can see it, display it in your home, on your mantelpiece or somewhere else. You can make a simple frame by mounting your piece onto black cardstock using some rice glue or a glue stick. Or if you really love your work, you can take it to the framers and have them frame it for you. I really love this neurographical process. It is very meditative and I enjoy making this kind of art. I hope you do too. You can find me on Instagram at Vicky Parfano Studio. Thanks for watching. Bye.